Okay, moving on to Hunted. I don't know if we played this last night, and I don't think we did. We only played four maps, and they were Stronghold, Stronghold Fringe, Stronghold Breach. Those are the maps we did play last night. Uh, this is one of those ones we haven't played, just like Evac. That's why I kind of went deeper into Evac, because there's just a lot of shit going on. Um, most of the shit really doesn't come into play, but you'll, you'll see when you play more, you'll, you'll understand. Um, so hunted here, pretty, pretty simple map. There are a lot of rooms and shit though that can get confusing. So here's defense is what we usually do. Now in the situation, you know, Brandon can switch it up or I can switch it up, but Protect you want to put yourself for you. I would say if we play hunted, I'd like to get yourself over here jumping into grandma's and you know kind of just you know peeking out here kids do sit down there i'll go over those call outs in a hot second or here and if you don't see anything they could be now it could be happening they could be low wall riding bridge and you didn't see them from here you can go either top grandma's or you know i call this wa grandma's water or grandma's water jump anything like that because it is a spot in snd where i mean it's a clear sight to bomb it's a very dangerous spot you can even take this and, you know, just take it up and just come up to here to, to Big Rock, mid Big Rock, you know, something like that. You know, it's not it's not a crazy spot because um, Brando usually sits playing back over there somewhere watching, watching mid. Now, you could be up here watching, watching, um, we call that water hut on the opposite side. Um, I sit inside of B watching bomb. Um Let's see. So yeah, we just call you know top you know top grandma's or grandma's window. You know grandma stairs, grandma stairs. He's gonna be coming down these stairs. Now kids can be sitting in here, in our water, grandma's water. Um, this is side jump or a front jump up, front jump up. You know from bridge. You know grandma's jump up, easy call out. Um, obviously you know waterfall rock or you know he's like top top rock waterfall. Anything like that. Kids don't usually sit there in S and D. It's not the, the best place to be. Anything in here is just A building or bottom grandmas. You know, kids do sit in all these corners when they do have bomb down. So be careful when you do, you know, push in. You know, from if you're coming from jump up, they could be sitting right here waiting. They could be sitting in that corner. They could be sitting water or stairs. Kids also sit back here. Um, I would just call this, you know, you know, I wouldn't call. See, the problem with this, call out this thing right here. I would just call it back grandma's at this point or like patio, like grandma's patio because this is so confusing if you call this a deck because that's the deck and that will just get things confusing. Just call him like back grandma's door. I mean, it's not, he's back door, back door. Then we know he's somewhere in this area. I wouldn't call this a bridge either because there's way too many bridges. You can, you can call it grandma's bridge, but make sure you put the word grandma in front of it because there's a bridge in B and there's a bridge out there. Um, this is where it gets, you know, a little bit confusing, but I would call these back stairs. Like this is back grandma stairs. So I call that back stairs and I call these back deck stairs because this is back deck. Now they can get back here. Kids sit back here watching into a, we can do it as well. We're sitting back deck. Let your team know like, Hey, I'm back deck watching our, you know, watching door or I'm watching back stairs. Um, kids can get you from the wall ride. They can wall ride that around. Um, and then basically just our back spawn is all back here. Um, we call this red truck pretty self-explanatory. This is whatever. If they're red truck, they're somewhere in this area. You can wall ride. Kids will wall ride this. And this is really, it's just, you know, if we know he's here, like, you know, he's like, it's tough in this situation. If whatever's closest that, you know, call them, like, yo, he's near red truck. He's near red truck. It puts it at a point where we know it's somewhere in this vicinity. He could be wall riding our back. And you can mention that. You can be like, hey, he might be wall riding back. And that's just, you know, what we know. Now, we don't have to chase. We can just, we kind of consolidate him. Like, we know he's there. And we can play for him. We All three of us can collapse on him. Or we can just leave him and know he's back there. Um, you don't always have to get the kill. You just kind of really have to know where he is. Obviously, we have bridge. You know, this is not, you know anything you know it's just pretty simple it's like yeah he's on truck and bridge bridge truck um 
Obviously, the bottom wall ride, we do make this push from the opposite side on, on offense. Sometimes we want to push A. We will not go across this bridge because it is a pretty tough spot to get across because someone usually is sitting up in that window. So we'll just take the low wall ride, maybe go all the way around into their back spawn and work from there. Um, we have bridge hut. We call this bridge hut. We got water hut all the way up there, but we got bridge hut here. Easy way to peek into top window. Or, you know, if he's sitting red truck, not even the kill, just to see, you know, oh, yeah, we know we can rotate now back to B. He, kids sit down here or over there watching for our wall ride. Um, you know, I, the, the, this deck, you know, it doesn't really need to be called out. You know, if they're, if they're fucking bridge hot, they're bridge hot. Um, working our way. I'm going to work our way to our back, to the back spawn on the offense side. You know, these, oh, look, it's the bomb. Um, we don't, you know, I, there's no real name for the, this build because it's never really in question, but you know, obviously you see it, they're like, you know, green trucks, like in our spawn, in our spawn, it's pretty simple. Um, this spot is used up here. I don't know. I would just call it, you know, back spawn, like their head glitch, their rock head glitch way in their back. There's no real name for it. Um, you know, we do, we do push B. Like that's our push on offense. Most likely nine nine out of ten times we are pushing B. Um, Brando usually sits over here, right on the side of Water Hut. We call this Water Hut Rock, or you know he's always by Rock. He's by Water Hut. That right there we call Box, just Box, and it's the only thing that's a box. So we're that they sit on the opposite side of there. You know you can stun over there. Meanwhile you can be peeked from uh, from Grandma's window as well. So yeah, that's mid Big Rock. I would call it. This is, you know, water rock. You know, he's he's by water hut, water hut. Now the waters as well. I would call this a water. If he's anywhere in this area, he's a water. If he's in this, he's b water. Just to be like, yo, if he's in water, it's kind of confusing because you don't know which side he's in. And yeah, he might go either or. But yeah, so pretty much, you know, a water, b water. We got water hut right here. Stairs. You hear stairs? Most likely, it's these stairs right here. Kids do push this from bridge a lot so we got stairs we got our back rock here you know then we got ourselves going into b you know i just call this back water hut back water hut water hut and from water it's dangerous you can peek right there kids sometimes m8 laser right there or they're sitting there um i usually try to make my way back here kids will sit on that head glitch and anywhere behind that head glitch working into b so I call this B bridge, obviously, you know, head glitches, you always know, wood head glitch. He's like back head glitch on, you know, their side behind bomb. Pretty simple things. He's either their side or our side. And we know exactly what that is. We obviously have bomb plant. Another great little spot. If you're ever stuck in a fucking one V something, put yourself in this corner. You just, just jam yourself in and just turn with the other stick. They cannot see you coming around that side. Obviously they can see you from here. Or they wall ride in, and it's like, you saw me do it last night. I, I don't think you were actually in the game. But, yeah, you can pick them off easy. If they're jumping, they're looking at bomb. They're not looking here. That's the only dangerous play. And if they are there, make your way and try to hide behind here. If you know you're in a 1v1, he's isolated. You put yourself in a better position. Great spot, though, is right there. Um, kids will sit water. This is a very dangerous spot. They'll sit here, and they'll just do a, do a little jump to bomb, and they'll go back into water. They have blast suppressor. You will not hear them. You might hear the splash, but they're just peeking. They can go down here. They'll be sitting in corners fucking in here, dude, waiting for you to come in. So it's a tough spot. Usually we have someone go water just because it's a dangerous spot. So that's pretty much this map. I'll show you a few, you know, wall runs that work very well. Now, if you play through here, you somehow get out here, and there's no one in that window, or there's no one here, most likely someone's in at the B-bomb. You can make yourself a jump right here and just kind of come in. I did that really poorly. Uh, I really wasted my boost, but you can do the same thing out this side, and you can just fuck, boom, you're in fucking water hunt. Um, obviously, a scuff does help. But, yeah, so pretty much this one I, I did pretty pretty poorly. But, you know, you can jump right here, and now I'm coming in, and boom, I'm fucking there. You know, and that's the, that guy, I know they usually sit there, or he's sitting bomb. It's a great spot to jump in and challenge. So that's pretty much, you know, obviously B waterfall. We have the other waterfall. It's pretty simple shit. 
you know, this is B Alley. You know, if he's in B Alley, it's right in here. Um, kids do sit back here. This is where pretty much Brando sits, just watching mid. So if you're in Grandma's, you have a better look at, you know, their side than one might sit back here on this rock. And that is pretty much all bullshit from back here. Um, also, I think with RC cars, I saw last night you called it in. If you just, like, stand here and call it in, you are in a fucking horrible... I'm not saying that... I'm just letting you know it's just a better spot to put yourself somewhere. Like, hide yourself and call it in. Like, this is a great spot to call in your RCXD. And just sit back here. So, like, you're not just, like... They come by, you're just standing here in an RCXD. You can't do anything for yourself. Um, hide, you know, you can go back here and fucking lay down anywhere. Because, like, you're putting yourself out there to get killed... It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I try to always find a spot, you know, lay behind there, um, and that's pretty much it. Just try to hide, you know, get yourself in a bush and just call that RCXD in. Um, so that's pretty much hunted. Good job, CDP. Um, Do it again. Yeah, Let's this one, go. this map's a little iffy. We mostly push B. We will make that A push every now and then. And defense, it's usually Brando. Brando playing, you know, that mid lane. You could play A side. I wouldn't really want you playing by yourself because it's a it's a tough spot to watch. But I would say top grandma's window. You know, watching Water Hut's a great spot Excellent. for like we someone some uh, like, coming ass, into guys. the game to watch. Uh, B's pretty hectic. Game. That's why I put myself there. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um,